Hey everybody, Garth here with uh, I Only Get Eights, and I wanted to do a comparison today between cases of Topps Chrome Soccer. So I have, uh, this is 2022-23 Topps Chrome Soccer, and I have one case of the light and one case of the hobby. Um, let me say that the quality on both is pretty good. I'm not noticing any scratches. Uh, centering for the most part is pretty strong. Uh, good collation, um, so I'm happy with that. Um, I believe typically these run, the lights run, based on when they first came out, so it's been a couple weeks, they were running somewhere between 100 and 120 a box, and the hobby was 175-ish. Um, I actually got the two cases combined for 3100, which is just a, a smoking good deal, which is why I even bought them. I, I had bought a bunch of the hobby and a couple of the lights before, but not by the case. <clears throat> so, uh, let's see. So with the light, um, 16 boxes per case, as opposed to hobby, you get 12. Um, you get a couple things that you only get in the light. So you get these, uh, ray waves and they're pretty cool. You get, you get a bunch of them. Um, with Hobby or Light, with every pack, you're going to get some sort of non-base card, whether it's a parallel, an insert, or an auto. Um, and it seemed like the cards where you got a, the packs that you got a numbered card, you also still got the additional parallel, insert, whatever. So the numbered cards you would get too. Um, anyway, so with the lights, you get the Ray Waves. They're pretty cool. Hold on, I'm just randomly turning that. That's pretty cool. That's a good one. Um... Sales-wise, these seem to go right around the price of the refractors, give or take a little bit. Um, even though they're more rare than the refractors, they don't really seem to have much of a premium. I think people would just rather have the refractor. Um, so there's a bunch of those. You get an absolute ton of refractors. I, I, I didn't bother looking, but between the two, I probably have close to set i have so i bought the ca the case of each and then i also had bought five boxes of hobby and two boxes of light um and for all that i was only able to put together five sets um and then just an absolute ton of dupes um you get these 59s i these if if you like these and if you have any sell them now you buy them back for less than a buck a piece they're way too common and they're not very popular they look cool though so said, they look cool. Um, you also get these youth quakes, which, uh, and the light. So I think these are actually pretty cool. Um, I did not get Garnacho, but I think I got pretty much everyone else that you would really want. Um, these, Alvarez, um, these take me back to when I was collecting back in the 90s. And I think, I, I think I remember having a Kobe card of this, or maybe a Tim Duncan. Um, Anyway, I just think they're pretty cool and they might have some good lasting hobby power. But I mean, what do I know? Um, let's see. So those are, I think the, those are the only so the only two things you're guaranteed to get, um, like exclusive wise, are the Ray Waves and the Youth, the Youth Quakes. Um, you get the Wonder Kids. These are I, I, I definitely like the way these look. These are certainly cool, Alvarez, um, and they're nice. They're same thing with the. Uh, with the 59 retro looking ones are just way too common. Um, but they certainly look cool. I mean, they, they definitely look cool. Uh, Galazzo is also pretty, pretty plentiful. Um, definitely like the way they look. They're, they're great looking cards. Enzo, uh, Ronaldinho, very cool. Um, but again, super common. Uh, I think some of the, the parallels of the stuff is, are pretty cool. Might have some staying power. Um, in my case, I got one, Blue, Emil Smith Rowe. The blues are true blues, numbered out of 150. Can I get that? Uh, not really. Um, let's see, I'm just putting this stuff back here. Uh, a bunch of these, I want to say Aqua, um, numbered out of 199. Uh, some, or at all. Uh, these are pretty cool. Bunch of these pinks. So uh, these are out of 250. I don't think I got 
any son again i got a lot of his stuff uh nobody great um a couple of these night vision solid marquinhos reina bellingham if you're into video games at all tell me if you don't think jude bellingham has the same face kind of a very similar face look as the uh, myth who was popular in Fortnite. I look at them and I think they look very similar in the face. Um, specimens. So I got a bunch of them. I really like these. I think these are very, just super cool. I know they're supposed to be like, uh, you know, a specimen from like a lab, but to me, they look like a can of Red Bull. And, uh, but they're, they're very cool. They're very well done. I, I really, really, really like these. Uh, very messy. Uh, hold on. Great, great checklist on it. Super cool. I, I really like those. Um, let's see, some, I guess, what are, what are these, like, green checkerboards out of three ninety nine? Um, you know, nothing so, so great. Let's see, go back. And then here's some of what I would consider to be, like, the, the better things. You one of these Goloso, or what is it, uh, not Goloso, uh, Yoga Benitos, I got Gavi, uh, I got a blue specimen, Jeru, uh, Marquinhos. Okay, so this is the Tops Fractor, I think it's called. It's tough to kind of tell, um, but they're numbered to 52. And I think that's pretty cool. Um, blue Wave Zanetti out of 150, not, not too shabby. Cutting Window. Youthquake green out of 99. The one I got one auto. I don't I don't think you're you're not guaranteed one auto, but the odds are like just over one auto per case. Um interestingly enough, the one case I I only saw one other full case get opened on YouTube, and they got the exact same auto uh Zoff. So I mean great player from what I understand. I'm not a soccer expert, I'm just getting into it. I'm loving it, but um don't really want goalies, but I mean, I guess if you're going to get a goalie, he's okay. Um, these are my favorite. Uh, these are the hero parallels, and I just really think these look just dope. They're not numbered, but they're pretty tough. I got, I think I got, in the seven boxes I opened before the cases, I think I got two. That's five hobbies, two lights. I think I got two, and then I got one in this case, and I don't think I got one in my hobby case. I got one orange, but it's Christian Erickson and eh. one uh, blue. This is the blue seismic. I can't, I can't, I don't know if you can kind of tell on that. You can kind of see. Um, and that's out of 75, XTK. So that's, uh, that's my case of light. Um, I would say... It is a good bang for the buck. Um, I think getting the top tractor, getting the hero. It's like I got all the things that you would want. I just didn't necessarily get the best names. Um, but overall, for the price, you can't you can't go wrong. Okay, so the hobby case. Uh, also, one one thing per pack. Um, tons of you know tons of refractors. Just an absolute ton. If I was crazy, I'd try it for a set of this, but. That would be insane. Um, let's see. So you get autos, one per box. You also get pulsars. Now, if you'll notice, there's way less than the ray waves out of the uh, light. But there's also less boxes. There's only 12 boxes as opposed to 16. So um, these look okay. They're, they're cool. They're, they're cool. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, I, don't, I think I'd rather just have the refractor or even... The Ray Wave, how long? That's cool. Um, also, if you want to grade, like these seem to always get print lines, and uh, that's really kind of aggravating. Um, these don't actually seem too bad print line wise, but I haven't really looked at anything for grading yet. Um, but I, I'm sure I will, and if you're interested, I'll show you my list. A uh, bunch of these again, <laughs> get rid of them now, buy them back for less than a buck. Uh, let's see. Wonder Kids, bunches of those. Very cool, very common. If you hear my dog one in the background, I apologize. She's on the couch and she's little and she wants to get down. Uh, Galazos, very cool. I really like the look of these. Again, more specimens. 
just absolutely messy. Um, just absolutely great looking cards in my opinion, Mbappe. And Salah. Salah might be the, to me, the, like the most underrated card wise player. Um, let's see. All right. Bunch of these pinks. Uh, these are, I guess, pink diamond, maybe? Uh, these are numbered out of 250. I don't think I got anybody crazy. Um, Grealish, one of my favorite players, but not necessarily expensive. Um, these are the green, I don't know why, it's there out of 399. Uh, Bruno Fernandez, the Um I don't think I got anybody great. Uh, these are, I guess, Teal Wave, maybe? Um, out of 199, Salah, Iqbal, Erickson. I seem to get Erickson all the time. So this is a Wave, not numbered. A um, couple, a few true blues. Vlahovic, Reese James, uh, Green Wave, Lorenzo Luca, not numbered. And a blue wave, also not numbered. Alright, so some of the better stuff. Uh, gold wave, Nakai. Uh, not numbered, but I only got one of these, so pretty tough. Uh, blue wave. Um, sewn again on the, uh, these are numbered out of 225. Pretty solid actually. Sun, Pulisic, Grealish. Uh, blue gold seismic. Number out of 75. These are the purple seismics. They're not numbered. They're pretty cool. Autos. All right, let's see. Yeah, I guess we'll go over the autos since we're here. Um, and mixed bag on the autos, of course. Everyone's not going to be a banger. You just hope you get a few good ones. Uh, Sandro Tonali. Eh, okay. Uh, Jukla. I don't even know who that is, honestly. Um, cool looking auto, though. Um, Tonali also has a pretty decent looking auto. I like it when they take time and, and do it. They are sticker autos. Um, that one's out of 199. This was probably the best one. Uh, dual auto, Corvalho, Garnacho. Um, out of... 99. That one is uh, super happy on that. Uh, one of these 59 to Ketelare. Uh, not numbered, but pretty cool. I haven't seen a lot of these floating around. Jordan Henderson. Eh, I mean, could be worse, right? I mean, out of 150. Abada. That's not cool. That's not, that's not great. Boss. Samuel Elling Jr. This is my, probably my favorite one. I love Griezmann. Uh, Antoine Griezmann, uh, this is the orange wave. These aren't numbered, um, but I, th I think I, I heard someone say they, they're 25 or less. Um, he's also into cards, so I think that's pretty cool. Uh, Enzo, that's a really good one, I like that. Um, and, and all these autos look pretty good. Like, uh, well, this one is a little, I don't know if I get this graded because the it's got a little smear on the end there. Or not smear, but it's it's not thick all the way through. So I don't know if that's necessarily a grading candidate, but like it's centered. I don't see any scratches, so that's pretty good. Fatou, um, out of 199. Yao Felix, uh, which for, you know, a base auto isn't, isn't terrible. Um, this is a Blue Wave Galazzo uh, out of 75. Frankie de Jong. Uh, orange out of 25. Wonder Kids, I guess blue wave or just, I don't know, maybe it's just wave or something. Julian Alvarez, not numbered, but pretty dope. Uh, Lataro Martinez, yellow. I, I want to say gold, but I think it's yellow because it's out of 125. The Yogo Benito Musiala. This is also a wave, I believe. It's not numbered. Another tell. This is the blue out of 150. Uh, Enzo out of 175. Purple Seismic Julian Alvarez. Not numbered, but pretty cool. Christian Pulisic. Uh, this is a orange seismic. 
Yeah, it, there it is. Um, the seismic part kind of gets lost, except down there at the bottom. Uh, not numbered, but pretty rare. Um, and a gold out of 50. Stanisic, eh, whatever. Um, so I would say, um, again, I was in these for 3,100, so I'm not complaining. I would say if you're looking for, if you're a set builder, um, also, you can get some pretty low numbered stuff. The the choice or the light is solid, but to me, um, I think that the hobby is a much better deal. Um, not only for the autos, which I think if you're buying one or two boxes, you you may regret it. But if you buy a case, you're probably going to turn out way better. Um, and it also just seemed like even though there were twelve boxes compared to or sixteen. I felt like in the hobby, I got more numbered cards. Um, the Pulsars, eh, I don't really care about that. Um, and again, I, for the light, I, I really like those Youthquake cards. I think those are really cool. Um, I think most of the inserts are pretty, eh. I mean, they look good, they look good, but obviously they're not gonna, you know, they're very, there's a lot of them. So I don't think they'll carry much value, except maybe the specimens down the line. I think those could be popular. Um, anyway, like, comment. You don't need to subscribe. I don't even know if I'll ever even post this video. But um, if you stuck it through to the end, hey, I appreciate it. And uh, good luck with uh, all your hobby hunting. Have a great day.